what's going on guys is Danny here and this is gonna be a patch or map review today guys we have the map 6.78 I'm really excited because we have really really much changes and basically what I'm gonna do in this video is uh, save you guys some time and effort to read all these things and uh, actually think about every nerf or hero buff and what I want to do is give you my commentary about all this stuff right here guys, all these changes and fixes and whatever in the new map 6.78. This is gonna be a long video guys, so sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy. Arc Warden Magnetic Field, AUE decreased with 50 from 325 to 275. Uh, that's guys the spell that plays that uh, makes on the ground a circle and everyone misses their attacks now this circle is gonna be a little bit uh, smaller so that's a nerf to that spell from Arc Warden and Tempest double unit is now visible to, en to enemy players as the fake well that's very nice guys because if you hate Arc Warden that's good for you guys because yeah, now you can see from, from the Arc Warden's uh, ultimate, you can see who is the fake and who is the real hero. Access counter helix cooldown decreased from this to this. Um, before on level 4 counter helix, that's the spin guys. We had uh, 0.5 seconds which is half a second. I didn't even notice a cooldown or anything like that but... Now it's uh, 0.4 seconds on uh, level 4, so that's nice, that's, uh, that's a little bit of buff for Axe. Ancient Apparition, uh, we have a, a little bit of buff for this hero guys. Um, Ice Vortex cooldown decreased from 6 to 5 seconds. Uh, that's, Ice, Ice Vortex is the second spell, which is the slow, and uh, the cooldown is gonna be 1 second less, so that's nice. And also Ice Blast. Uh, base AoE increased with 50 um, That's the ultimate so the AoE is gonna be bigger That's very nice and that will make it easier to hit right and also we have um, Aghanim Scepter that's very nice finally Aghanim Scepter for ancient apparition and that will increase the duration increased um, what the fuck am I saying? Just duration increased from 8, 9, 10 to 17. That's huge. And Aghanim Scepter is actually now a good option for Ancient Apparition because 17 seconds is a lot. It's gonna do a lot of damage and actually it can uh, kill targets very easily. Batrider. We have a nerf for this hero, guys. Uh, vision decreased from 1,800 to 1400 um, I guess I am guessing this is the uh, flying vision when we use uh, firefly because and I agree with this because it was too much vision before it was insane amount of vision when we used uh, firefly you know and also we have a frame blade flame break mana cost increased to 140 so that will that means guys uh, we can not use this spell the flame break anymore um, i mean we cannot use it that much because 140 in very early game uh, usually flame break we take that spell on level 3 uh, maybe level 4 depending what how you play this hero you know and uh, that early into the game 140 mana is actually a lot and we should save this spell now for a very important situation and not use it that much. Beastmaster, Greater Hulk, Invisibility Fade Time decreased from 5 to 4 seconds. Uh, that's a little nerf, I mean a buff to the bird guys. Now the bird will take uh, 4 seconds to go invisibility instead of 5, that's one less. So that's nice. The next one guys is Bloodseeker and uh, now Thirst will give you a bonus 3, 4, 5 and 6 armor when active. That's very very good guys. Because now I feel like, okay, one of the enemies is very low HP, I start chasing him, that's very good. But I am squishy like Mario and I die very easily. 
So now I can say, fuck you, Mario. I have bonus armor on level 4 from this spell. I would have 6 armor. And yeah, that's very nice. Um, other thing is, I don't know if this is good or bad. In my opinion, in some situations, it can be good. In other situations, it can be bad because uh, Blood Rage dispels the target before applying its buff. Applying its buff. Um, that means this would cause it to remove things like ethereal well yeah and the next thing is rapture now um, is hp loss rapture damage is now hp loss so that means yo show me more this causes it to go through magic immunity now that means guys the blood seeker ultimate goes through bkb because bkb gives me uh, magic immunity and also it will go through the nike's rage the first spell or just anything that gives you magic immunity the next one is bounty hunter and uh, track mana cost um to 50 now it's gonna be always 50 and this actually guys uh, means that will save us a little bit of mana because uh, 20 less mana on level 6 um, yeah, definitely will save me mana because Bounty Hunter is an offlaning hero, guys. And uh, yeah, we don't have that much uh, mana region, just just any mana region. Only the, the base, you know. And uh, yeah, 20 mana less is nice. The next one is Bristol Back. Uh, Squill Spray Hit Memory Increased from 10 to 14 seconds. Uh, that's actually a buff guys. That's very nice buff in my opinion because the spray is the second spell um, this one um, everyone knows in uh, 625 range this damages the target and then it's 30 stacking damage So the 30 stacking damage instead of 10 seconds uh, now it's gonna be 14 seconds, so that's four more and uh, that's a buff. Yeah, very nice uh, brute mother's incapacitating bite uh, miss chance to 30 40 50 and 60 percent uh, That's very nice guys. That's very nice buff To the uh, brute mother slow because the same spell also um, slows and uh, I think this will make brute mother um, better carry against when he's facing 1v1 another carries like blood seeker let's say or maybe skeleton king or uh, ursa warrior because that heroes are based on auto attacks and now they will miss on level four they will miss um 60 percent of, of of their attacks so that's very good uh, buff for brute mother and another thing we have is spider links um now it's four on on level four um, that's very nice. That's one more little spider that Brute Mother will spawn from the first spell. Uh, remember, guys, we can use the spiders, the spider links for uh, pushing towers faster, or maybe, um, you know, farm the jungle or farm the lane, whatever. And uh, having one more spider link is gonna be very nice. Another change we have is to uh, send tower into Captain's mode. So I think, in my opinion, this hero can be used as uh, aggressive tri-lane, uh, as farmer, you know, and uh, killer, supported by two supports, of course. Or maybe I think we can use this hero as mid as well. I don't know, in some situations, not always. Cling strafe cooldown decreased. Um, with the first three levels of strafe, the last one is the same, 30 seconds. But for the first three levels, uh, we will have less cooldown, guys. And uh, yeah, that's a nice buff, actually. Clockwork Goblin, uh, Power Cogs no longer knock back magic immune units. Uh, that's a nice change. That's a nerf to Power Cogs because before, when I use BKB or maybe Rage from the first uh, spell of Nikes, you know, the Rage. And uh, the power cogs still uh, knocked me back, and now you you cannot do that. That's a little bit of nerf for power cogs. Crystal Maiden uh, mana region aura is increased now to one, one and a half, two, and uh, two and a half. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is a good buff because 
it's gonna be too insane for me right now it was a huge amount of mana region that i get or i give if if i play crystal maiden and uh on the new map it's even more mana region so that's gonna be huge and crystal maiden guys is actually yo what the fuck uh crystal maiden is one of the one of the best uh, support heroes for me it's a very nice supporting hero and also we have uh, freezing field which is the ultimate of crystal maiden uh now the explosion aoe is increased with 15 and uh, that will make it bigger the aoe and also agonim's attack speed reduction um is increased with 30 so that will make crystal maiden ult um a lot stronger now i didn't take my ulti um, always on crystal maiden because in some situations in some games it's not really needed um, it's not a good option but now i think it is because we have more aoe and more attack speed reduction if you make the agonims dark seer vacuum cooldown increased from 22 to uh, 24 nah that's a little bit of a nerf to the dark seer's vacuum now it's gonna be the cooldown is going to be 2 seconds more. Dazzle's Shadow Wave target uh, count increased to 3, 4, 5 and 6. Well guys, uh, now we can heal uh, one more person on level 3, 2 and 4 from this spell, the Shadow Wave. We can heal a little bit more, one more person and we can damage a little bit more the enemy. So that's a nice change. And also we have another huge change for the Shadow Grave uh, can now be cast on Magic Immune Alice. That means someone that has BKB, someone that is using BKB or Nike's Rage, Omni Knight Repel, you know, whatever gives you a magic immunity. You can now cast, if you play Dazzle, you can cast the uh, Shadow Grave on that people, which is a huge buff. Death Prophet uh, movement speed decreased with 5 but on the other side guys we have Witchcraft move speed bonus increased to 5, 10, 15 and 20% so that's very nice we don't have a nerf to the movement speed actually and uh, Silence AOE increased to 350 uh, on every level that's very nice for the Silence because when you get level 1 200 um, AOE that's really small in my opinion um, it was very hard to hit you have to hit when the target is um, you know stunned or slowed really much slowed because otherwise they can dodge it and now it's uh, 350 always so that's a nice buff to the silence the next thing we have guys is disruptor uh, thunder strike actually three changes to it um, from three strikes over four seconds uh, we have now four strikes over six seconds but the damage is decreased uh, what does it mean guys before we were getting three strikes uh, 125 damage on level four thunder strike that is um, 375 damage in total and now we have four sec uh, four strikes 100 damage on level 4 that means 400 damage so now we get uh, 25 more damage uh, this is a buff to the disruptor um, thunder strike a little buff actually and also we have um, aoe increased from 200 to uh, 240 oh nice buff to the thunder strike um, doom bringer doom now disables uh, Feast, Backtrack, Dispersion, uh, Juxtapose, Bristol Back, and uh, Blood Buff. And also we have another huge change, which is Aghanim Scepter, Upgrade uh, Duration Reworked. Show me more. We have Aghanim's Doom Duration doesn't count down while the target is within a 550 range of Doombringer. This is like, are you kidding me? If I make Aghanim Scepter on this hero now, guys, um, and I use Doom on someone, and I am close to him with 550 range, the ultimate is never gonna disappear. It's gonna 
doom him. Um, it's gonna burn him to death. Wow, what the fuck. The next one is Dragon Knight, uh, Corrosive Breath. Passive from level 1, Elder Form, now carries over to level 2, the DPS. Only the DPS. So, we can see here, you know guys, Corrosive Breath, uh, 20 damage per second during 5 seconds. Um, we will have that into level 2, Elder Form, which is the Dragon Form of Dragon Knight. Uh, that's actually a little buff, which is nice. Draw Ranger True Shot Aura increased um, with 2% from every level. Uh, now we will have 2% guys more damage. And that's very nice. That will make Draw Ranger a little bit stronger. I mean, even stronger because Draw Ranger is strong at this point. And that's a very nice um, buff to the Draw Ranger players. Yeah. Earthshaker turn rate improved from 0.4 to 0.6. Uh, that's a little nerf, guys, because now we will turn with Earthshaker a little bit slower uh, to make a stun. So that's a little nerf. But on the other side, we have a Fisher range increased with 100, which is nice. It's very nice, actually. Now it, it will be a little bit easier for us to block people. Or, you know, just stun because the range is bigger, longer, and that's very nice. And then we have a very huge um, buff on the ultimate because Echo Slam now considers illusions as heroes. This affects Aghanim Scepter um, ag upgrade as it does extra damage for each hero in the area. That's very nice buff. Now the ultimate is gonna do more damage. Um, Ember Spirit Flame Guard DPS increased to 30, 40, 50 and 60. Uh, that's actually a nice buff to the Flame Guard. And then Ember Spirit is added to Captain's Mode. So now we have Captain's Mode um, Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit in my opinion is... Um, it can be used as carry, very nice carry hero. And also mid lane. Um, Enchantress Aghanim Scepter bonus attack range increased from 165 to 190. That's actually a very nice buff for me because I like really much um, Aghanim Scepter on Enchantress. And now when I buy it, it will give me 25 more attack range. So that's huge for the ultimate. The next one we have is Enigma Malefice uh, Scaling Reworked Show Me. Um, the old one is duration 2, 4, 4, 6 seconds and the ticks 1, 2, 2 and 3. And the new one we are gonna have in this map is duration 6 seconds, uh, which was the level 4 before, and uh, 3 ticks always. That's a buff to the duration because now in early game uh, it's gonna be very bigger duration and more ticks but on the other side we have um, less damage really less damage and then we have stun duration um, before it was one second always and now it's 0 0.25 on level one are you kidding me this is this is like stun of mkb or sniper this is like this is nothing 0 0.25 but the duration is six seconds and it is three ticks so i'm not sure guys if this is a buff or maybe nerf i'm not sure the next one is goblin shredder and all we have here for this hero is buffs guys i will start playing this hero seriously because base strength increased by three we will have a little bit more hp now um, int growth increased from 1.8 to 2.4 uh, that means we will get uh, more mana over time over we get uh, more levels and then we have chakram initial um, initial mana cost rescaled which is the uh, chakram is the ultimate of goblin shredder you know and then we have 
75, 125 and 175. So on level 1 and 2 ultimate, it will cost us a little bit, I mean actually a lot mana, I mean less mana, you know. And uh, then the chakra move speed increased from 800 to 900. That's huge buff for this hero actually. The next one is Gyrocopter Flag Cannon. Um, cooldown increased from 20 to 30. Uh, that's a nerf, guys. And I was expecting this one because before it was too insane, really insane for me. Uh, having every 20 seconds, having an attack, you can see here. Um, on level 4, we had 6 attacks or 15 seconds. Um, which will um, hit everyone in 1000 AoE. So that was insane. And now the cooldown is 10 seconds more. Actually, a little um, nerf to this hero. The next one is Husker. And uh, the first is base strength increased by 3. Now, guys, we have a little bit more HP and a little bit more damage from the strength because Husker is a strength hero, right? And then we have Burning Spears DPS increased to 5, 10, 15, and 20. Uh, that's a buff to the Burning Spears. And now Burning Spears could be an option to level up earlier. I don't know, but we have to test that one. This is a buff definitely for the Burning Spears, of course. And then Life Break HP, which is the ultimate of Husker, um, HP cost increased to 40, 35, and 30 percent. Um, that's a nerf to the ultimate, which is sad. But anyway, and then we have Berserker's Blood uh, reworked. For me, that's a huge nerf, and Berserker's Blood sucks now. Uh, we have attack speed. Before we have this is the old. We have attack speed. Um, you know, whatever per stack, and then we have damage. Well, what we get now, the new Berserker's Blood, is no damage. We don't get any damage. We get magic resistance now instead of damage, which is 4, 5, 6, and 7. Uh, on level 4, is gonna be 7% magic resistance. That will make Husker a little bit more tanky because right now, you know, guys, Husker ult is you. If you are a hero like Sven that can stun, all you have to do is just throw your stun, um, hit hit that Husker three to four times, and he dies. Well, now Husker, we have 7% on level four, uh, magic resistance, which is nice. And then we have attack speed increased very, very much. We have two, four, six, and eight, and now we have eight, 12, 16, and 20. Um, these changes right here, I have to test something which is very, very important and it could be very interesting in my opinion, which is maxing the Burning Spears and getting a lot of HP on Husker, you know, like very early Heart of the Rask and Burning Spears DPS increased. And then if I get lower HP, I have much more attack speed. So if I can stack like 20 of this, this is going to be a huge amount of damage actually, 400. If I stack 20 of Burning Spears, um, DPS, this is damage per second, 20. If I stack 20 on someone, on some enemy, it's going to be 400 damage per second. That's actually insane. I have to test these things. And I should say definitely Husker is completely different hero now. And by the way, it's also removed from Captain's mode. Um, I don't understand why is this. Um, anyway, nobody was picking this hero in Captain's mode. Anyway, that's for Husker. The next one is Invoker, guys. And we have Alacrity mana cost decreased from 100 to 20, uh, 75. Sorry. Actually, this is 25 less mana when we use Alacrity, and that's a nice buff. And then we have a huge buff for Ghost Walk because the slow is increased to this. 
this is actually on the last level of ghost walk we have 50 um, slow increased and then we have ghost walk cooldown decreased from 60 to 35 seconds um, anyway remember that you can buy dust sentry wards or gem and you can see invoker in ghost walk but until um, the enemy gets that dust or sentry or gem the ghost walk is really buffed spell now and then tornado damage is actually a little bit lower because now it's rescaled uh, from 70 blah 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 per 20 um, now it's gonna be 70 blah 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 per 15 so now tornado will do a little bit less damage guardian wisp and then we have uh, spirits no longer provide vision um, sadly nerf from the spirits uh, except temporary when they collide with an enemy hero okay and then we have overcharge which is when you tether someone you will give him attack speed remember that um, hp and mp cost increased with one percent from 3.5 to four and a half you know that's one percent um yeah juggernaut omni slash uh, no longer jumps on tombstone zombies that's very nice change guys for the juggernaut's ultimate really nice the next one is keeper of the light base strength decreased by two um i don't understand this is a nerf but i don't understand this nerf because keeper of the light is actually really squishy support you know it it was very weak and dying very fast and now strength by two decreased nah, it will die even faster the next one is kunkka and ghost ship damage increased to 50 uh per each level you know that's actually huge ghost ship um does amount a huge amount of damage right now and it has a really low cooldown and now it's gonna do even more damage guys and also we have x mark the spot mana cost decreased to 80 on um, every level well now it no longer goes up um that you level it you know uh, that's gonna make actually a difference very nice and then we have a nerf to x mark the spot uh, vision from 1000 flying to 400 ground vision that's really much um, nerf of the vision but anyway um, we get decreased mana cost and then we get more damage on the ghost ship so very nice i'm really excited to play kunk again the next one is Legion Commander, guys, and dual bonus damage per victory increased from 10 to, you know, on level 1 is the same, and then on level 2 we have 14, and level 3 we have 18. So that's very nice buff. I didn't expect this one, but it's a very, very nice buff to the Legion Commander's ultimate, because um, 10 bonus damage is very nice when you win, uh, win a victory you get 10 damage perfect but over time in late game that's too low and now we have in late game level 16 we get 18 bonus damage instead of 10 and also um, legion commander is now into captain's mode in my opinion this hero could be used as carry um, this could be a very nice carry in some games in some situations you know let's say against anti-mage when we have in the enemy's team or maybe legion commander playing against weaver or mirana this is just just a few examples there are many more that legion commander can counter hardly and uh, actually crush in a duo so yep lich chain frost bounce uh, count increased from 7 to 10 now we have three more jumps from the Lich Ultimate. That's a huge buff and very, very nice, guys. Nice, nice. The next one is Life Stealer and Open Wounds cast range decreased from 600 to 200, 300, 400, and 500 on level 4. That's not even the max that was before 600. So, very sadly, but you know, that's what Icefrog decides we have a nerf 
on the Nike's slow and I love this hero. I loved playing this hero, but but now the slow man 200 range on level one. Actually, I need to be uh, very very close to the the target I want to slow. You know, I have to be in a melee range with him. So wow. The next one is Lina. Um, attack range increased with 10 uh, from 625 to 635. That's actually nice. Now we have a little bit more attack range with Lina. Very nice. Lion mana drain break and cast range improved by 100. Uh, very nice. Very nice buff to the uh, third spell of uh, Lion. Now it's going to be even better and we can use it easier. And then we have um, something huge. This is like, what the fuck? Aghanim's Finger of Death cooldown decreased. Look at this. 20 seconds on level 16. Are you kidding me with this? Yo, when I get level 16 in late game or mid game with Lion and I buy Aghanim's Scepter, the cooldown is going to be 20 fucking seconds. And then the damage, we guys already know, it's going to be a little bit more than 1000. So zapping people for 1000 damage every 20 seconds on level 16 with Aghanim's. Lion, what the fuck? The next one is Lone Druid and now we have Spirit Bear. Spirit Bear now has its HP drained by Armlet when active. Oh wow, Ice Frog, why do you do this to me? I love Lone Druid, as you guys already know, some of you, and then I love playing Lone Druid. But I think now most probably we will say goodbye to Armlet, um, Spirit Bear and actually go for something else that will give us before basher go for something for attack speed i don't know or most probably people will go back to the radiance because um after sometimes we when we get to the item changes you will see radiance is buffed okay so most probably um spirit bear goodbye armlet and then hello radiance again good old friend how are you and then we have Spirit Bear, uh, Bounty increased from 100 to 300, nice. Um, the next one is Lord of Avernus and we have Movement Speed increased from 300 to 310. That's actually 10 Movement Speed increased. But for me this hero was moving uh, very fast until now and now it will move even faster. Wow, nice buff. The next one is Lycan and we have armor increased by one, um, Shapeshift, which is the ultimate of Lycan. Um, total armor is still the same as before. So in normal form, we have uh, one armor more. Well, slight buff to Lycan, that's nice. The next one is Magnetar, um, aka Magnus. So we have Reverse Polarity, which is the uh, ultimate of Magnus, guys. Um, we have damage decreased to 50, 125 and 200 on level 3, which is level 16 ultimate, you know. And this is gonna be 100 damage decreased for each level. Well, this is sad and this will make Magnus ultimate a little bit weaker in terms of damage you know but the stain the stun duration is gonna be the same which is amazing and uh, the aoe the range of the ultimate everything else is gonna be the same so yeah a little bit unfortunately we have less damage the next hero is medusa and we have something huge for this hero just look at this the ultimate is completely different now you know the stone gaze right now the new one what we have is um any unit facing medusa will have his attack movement and turn rate reduced by 50 percent um it was 100 before uh, that's a little nerf for the ultimate but it, it also um you know reduces the turn that that wasn't before before it was only attack and movement speed 
and they uh, until the end of the spell. If you accumulate two seconds time in total facing Medusa, you will turn into stone. This is something I think it's huge. Okay, um, stoned units are disabled, have one hundred percent magic resistance. Um, sad because you cannot nuke them with spells, but take extra damage from physical attacks. So that means Medusa will destroy that heroes. Okay, because Medusa is doing physical physical attacks. You know the auto attack. And then we have uh, view angle spread 85. Um, it is 10 more, as you can see. Um, it was 75 before. And then we have gaze duration, uh, 6 seconds. It was 5 before, so another buff. And then here we have um, stone duration, 3 seconds. So when you play Medusa, guys, and you use your OT, the the enemy heroes that are facing you for two seconds they will turn into stone for three seconds and if they turn into stone um, they will get bonus physical damage 30 on level 1 40 on level 2 and 50 on level 3 they will get a lot of physical damage bonus from you and everyone that is attacking uh, physical damage you know but magic spells, remember, 100% magic resistance. That's unfortunate, but anyway. The AoE is also buffed, 1000. It was uh, 800 before. The cooldown is 90 seconds, which is 1 minute and a half, you know. But it was 140 seconds before, so on level 1 the cooldown is lower, a lot actually. Uh, we have 200 um, mana cost, or always and before it was 200 on level 1 100 on level 2 and 0 on level 3 mana cost um, it's the same it will be the same for level 1 as before then on level 2 actually it's 100 mana more which i don't think is not always will be a problem unless you don't have any farm on level 11 but you should have at least perseverance or maybe already you have uh, Lincoln Sphere, you know, if you are insanely farmed, because Lincoln Sphere is one of the best items for Medusa, that will give you mana region. And then we have, um, before it was zero cooldown on level 3, I mean, sorry, mana cost. Uh, now it's gonna be the same, 200, but level 3 ultimate, um, level 16, your hero, you know, you will have insane amount of uh, mana region and I don't think 200 will be a problem for level 16 and note um, kills illusions instead of purifying them nice be because before uh, the ultimate was doing uh, dispels enemy units and does this kind of damage to illusions and summon units well now kills nice but unfortunately this hero medusa is removed from captain's mode i don't understand why maybe they want to test how people will react to this change of the ultimate because for me this is insane and uh yeah then they can i think they will put uh, medusa again after some time into captain's mode because captain uh, medusa is really much picked hero and it's great hard carry very nice one the next one is meepo um, innate magic resistance increased from 25 percent to 35 percent well that's cool buff the people that follow me for a long time you guys know i don't play meepo um, i cannot i don't even know honestly this hero had um, 25 percent magic resistance now it has uh, 35, nice, for all the people that play Meepo, no tail, you. The next hero is Mirana aka Potom, Priestess of the Moon, and the arrow now de deals up to 100 extra damage uh, based on a distance the arrow traveled. This is very nice change for me. I think now in some situations when you guys have if you guys are very good uh, to hit your arrows with Mirana or you have uh, three or two people in your team that actually can stun and you can follow with arrow, the max distance 
from the arrow will do 100 extra damage, which is on level 7 the arrow is gonna do 360 damage. So this is gonna be now 460 damage. And 460 on level 7, considering you are maxing the arrow, 460 damage is really much, guys. Just think about it. And this is basically half of the HP that Mirana will have. Other agility heroes like Mirana and all the hero or the supports, you know, that will be half of their HP if you hit that arrow on a max distance. So now in some situation, as I told you, having a lot of stuns in your team, you can try maxing up the arrow. Yeah, at this point, I really think so. After that, we have Moonlight Shadow, which is the ultimate of Mirana. Cooldown decreased uh, with... 20 seconds for each level, very nice, less cooldown on the ultimate, that's perfect, that's what exactly I needed for Mirana, and remember in the last patch they buffed and they decreased the mana cost, and now they, they buff and they decrease the cooldown as well, so that's very nice guys, and Starfall will choose a new target for the second star if the first died before impact, this is perfect. For some people, they will say, okay, are you kidding me? This, in, this is not a change for the hero spell. This is just a bug fix because some people were crying this is a bug. Anyway, this is a fix. Uh, this is, yeah, fix or bug. Yeah, whatever. Just the hero, um, the spell change. And uh, it will be nice. Starfall will be very nice now. The next one is Morphling Base Attack. Time improved from 1.7 to 1.6. That's 0 0.1 um, improvement base attack time. That is nice. It's still something. Nice change on Morphling. The next one is Necrolite. And we have if a unit dies um, under Reaper Scythe, which is the uh, ultimate of Necrolite. Remember that, guys. Um, it will be credit to Necrolite. This is perfect because in the last map, it I was like, okay, this guy is low HP. I can use my OT and kill him. But someone kills him before my OT does it. And I'm like, yo, fuck you, man. You just made me la waste mana and waste the cooldown of my OT. And I don't have a kill. I have just a fucking assist. So now the credit will be to Necrolite, actually the kill, you know. And then we have Aghanims for the OT, uh, Reaper Sith, um, cause buyback to be disabled on heroes it kills for that death. This is something very nice that in, sit in some situations I think this will win you the game, guys. If you play Necrolite and you get Aghanims, you do the uh, ultimate on the enemy's carry and you kill it, kill the enemy's hard carry with your ultimate, he will have no buyback in very late game. He will have to wait like 60, 80 or maybe 90 seconds um, on level 25, whatever, in very late game. And 90 seconds is actually a lot. And even if the enemy's hard carry has enough gold for buyback, he cannot because you killed him with ultimate. And that will definitely win you the game. This is a very nice change, actually. So, Aghanims on Necrolite now is really, really nice. Nerubian Assassins, uh, mana burn, drain, and damage decreased from 5 times int to this. On level 4, actually, it's still 5 times we have. But on level 1, it's actually the difference is big. Level 2 and level 4, it will be a little bit less than 5 times, you know. And then this is very nice because Nerubian Assassin no longer will do... I was expecting this, this kind of change on Nerubian Assassin Mana Burn because now no longer um, we can do this insane amount of Mana Burn and, uh, you know, the, the insane amount of damage on uh, level 1 Mana Burn that we take and we have 5-2, five, five, you know, 5 per int. And then Mana Burn, Mana Cost, Rescaled, to 100 always well okay the things are okay now um when we play in the rubian assassin guys we will burn less mana and we will do less damage on level one two and three but it will cost us um a little bit lower mana 30 30 less on level one and then on level four it will be the same 
The next one we have is Night Stalker and we have Hunter in the Night, which is the third spell, the uh, Aura, Attack Speed, Rescaled. Um, we have now, we have 15 more on level 1 and then we have a little bit less, you know, on level 4 it's gonna be the same. But we have on level 1, which is gonna be um, the first night, which is six, mi 6 minutes into the game, guys. Uh, you will probably be level 6 or level 7, it depends if you have, if you are going mid and you have one kill there, you could be level 7 easily for the first night into the game and you will have probably level 2 or level 3 depending if you want to get your ultimate or not or maybe you can get your slow, you can have level 2 or level 3 um, hunter in the night, so you will have actually a lot more um, um, you know, attack speed, so that's very nice. Obsidian's Destroyer movement speed increased with 5 from 310 to 315. This is actually a little bit surprising for me. Um, I want to increase that um, not by 5, but 7 or maybe 10 max, because Obsidian Destroyer is moving slow like Mario, man. It's really annoying, and only five, but it's still something. We should be happy about that. Yeah. The next one is Ogre Magi um, Ignite DPS increased from this to this. Um, it's actually level one the same, but from level two to level four, we will have slight increase in, uh, the uh, DPS from Ignite, which is very nice. The next thing is Omni Knight, um, Aghanim Scepter. This is something new and something nice that we didn't have until now. Uh, Guardian Angel, which is the ultimate of Omni Knight, guys. AoE becomes global, that's insane, and affects building. Very, very nice Aghanim Scepter, in my opinion. Um, we have to test. I have to play this hero and test um, how is it going to be. This could work um, as... which is... <laughs> Really funny, this could work, guys, like second um, glyph of fortification, right? Because first you can use glyph and then you can use um, Omni Knight Ultimate to have um, insane amount of, um, you know, armor on the buildings and all the heroes over all the map because global means over all the map, not only in the range it was before. But remember that you have to buy Aghanim Scepter to get this uh, bonus on the ultimate, yeah. The next change is gonna be ab about Pandaren Brewmaster, uh, the Panda. Uh, Aghanim's Primal Split, when you buy Aghanim's and use your OT, uh, units now gain your current level of Drunken Brawler. This is actually insane because Drunken Brawler is the, um, the crit. And your split units, which means the three pandas, all of them will get chance to get crit. That's very nice. But on the other side, we have a little nerf, which is fire panda no longer upgrades damage with Aghanim Scepter. Well, that's unfortunate because fire panda is the DPS from the three pandas. And it's actually a little bit sad that we are going to nerf this one. But every panda has um, now critical strike and every panda can be used as dps so yep um, we have a note uh, it has roughly same damage with drunken blower right now okay nice phantom assassins blur which is the third spell guys that gives you evasion um, level 4 increased from 35 to 40 percent that's actually huge and it's very nice if you play phantom assassin a lot we, you will love this one and this is also making it even more important now if you play carry against phantom assassin it makes it even more important for you to buy mkb now so yeah the next one is phantom lancer Spirit Lens, Double Walk, um, Juxtapose and Phantom Edge Illusions damage dealt decreased from 25 to 20%. Well, really expecting a nerf for Phantom Lancer. Everyone expected that, I guess. I do. And um, every illusion that Phantom Lancer will create right now uh, from the spells, from the mental style, it will be the same. But from the spells, um, 
the, the illusions will do 5% less damage because actually it was really, really insane. In the last map, uh, Phantom Lancer was one of the best card carries in the game. And now I think it's still very good, but illusions doing 5% less damage, nah, we have to... This is a good nerf and bad for people that love playing Phantom Lancer. Anyway, Phoenix uh, Sunray HP cost per second increased from 3% to 4%. Okay, guys, we have another nerf to Phoenix. Well, seems like this hero was very OP. Now, um, Sunray HP cost per second will be 1% more. So, yep, a little nerf. The next one is Patch. Opa, opa, dandy. Okay, let that uh, apart. Um, flesh heap strength bonus increased from this into this. One, one and a half, two, and two and a half on level four. So, flesh heap, very nice spell, buffed, very good. Um, opa, dandy, patch will gain more HP that will make patch more tanky. Nice. The next hero change will be Pagna and Nether Blast structure damage increased from 33 to 50%. Okay, very nice, very good. And the Creepify uh, can be now target can now target a uh, tombstone. Very very nice. Nice. The next one is Razor and A of the Storm duration increased to 30 seconds always um, this is a of the storm is the uh, razor ultimate guys remember that and now it's gonna be 30 seconds always instead of 20 seconds on level one and 20 seconds on level two that's a buff but on the other side we have a slight nerf a of the storm the ultimate again of razor strike interval decreased from this to this and here you have the damage decreased if you make agonims okay so it's gonna be without agonims it's gonna be 0 0.05 um, actually decreased the <clears throat> the strike interval um, I don't play Razor much but I think people that like Razor like playing this hero and they play him a lot they will notice a difference in my opinion and then unstable current um, movement speed bonus increased actually with 1% on level 1 and then 2% on each other level uh, no 2% on level 2 3% on level 3 and actually 4% on level 4 more so this is a buff to the aura now the aura is very nice it was nerfed in the last map and now we get this back so Razor nice hero I think in this new map the next one is Ricky, and we have permanent invisibility, which is the ultimate, of course. Fate time decreased from this into this, and level one is gonna be the same, three seconds. Uh, level two, we will have decreased 0 0.25 seconds, and on level three, we will get half a second. And I think this is when we will notice actually the difference, guys, and we will see. How good this buff is because in my opinion this is a good buff for Ricky. The next one is Sand King and we have two changes about the Sandstorm which is the second spell this one uh, of uh, Sand King remember that guys second spell and uh, we have uh, invisibility fade delay when exiting a Sandstorm improved to one and a half seconds it was one and a half on level four before but now it's going to be always one and a half, which is very nice because 0 0.3 on level one, 0 0.6 on level two. This is a little bit too low, but now it's very nice, the sandstorm. And the next thing we have is sandstorm now has a smoother damage interval um, from one second to half second. Uh, total damage is the same. So nice. The next one is Shadow Demon, which is base intelligence decreased by 3. Well, um, a little bit sadly now, we will have um, less damage on Shadow Demon. Really sad. But um, also, 
Shadow Poison no longer gives vision over the target with the debuff, which is really unfortunate because that was insane, giving uh, having vision with Shadow Poison, whatever target. And uh, this still reveals the projectile path. So when you use in the in the path of the Shadow Poison, you will see a little bit, you will get a little bit of vision, but no longer with the debuff um, on them for 10 seconds. The next one is SF and we have Sh um, Requiem of Souls, which is the uh, ultimate of Shadow Fiend, slow uh, rescaled to 20% always. It was 20% before on level 2. Um, now it's gonna be on level 1, 5% uh, more. It's gonna be the same for level 2, but for level tw 3 it will be actually less. And then we have uh, Requiem of Souls damage reduction uh, increased to 50%. That's actually huge. This is really, really insane. Shadow Shaman Aghanim's Mass Serpent Ward uh, damage increased from this into this when you buy Aghanim's Scepter. Oops, this one. And then uh, we have here basic version damage numbers also normalized a bit from this into this. So what this means, guys, is we will have just a little bit um, one, two, or three, three bonus damage actually to uh, normal wards, which is still something great. And then if we buy Aghanim Scepter on Shadow Shaman, the ultimate now the difference is gonna be huge. It's actually uh, 30 more. So yep, nice. Silencer. Global silence now affects sleeping units. Okay, let's say one example, guys. Bane Elemental sleep. Okay, the global silence now, um, you know, will silence that hero as well. And then added Angadim's scepter for silencer. That's actually something nice and something huge that I wasn't really expecting because I think silencer was. OP until now, but now it's even more with this Aghanim Scepter. They could have nerfed a little bit the first spell because, as you can see, um, applies the current level of Curse of Silent. They could, they could have um, nerfed a little bit this one because now the ultimate is going to apply this to every hero, you know, to all units and increases ultimate duration burn white by one second. Wow, this silencer now is gonna be really insane. The next hero is Skeleton King, which is reincarnation slow, now affects um, attack speed as well. Nice. And reincarnation slow happens immediately upon death rather than after reincarnating. So that's very nice. Right after you die, you will Clap on the ground with your OT, you know, guys, and um, slow the enemy's attack speed and movement speed instead when you actually respawn from your OT. And something really interesting we have here is Critical Strike Reworked. Now, the name of this spell is Mortal Strike. Um, it will still have the passive um, effect of the spell, which is um, crit damage this like always and the crit chance is gonna be 15 percent but you can now activate this spell and you will need 30 mana mana cost which is not much but considering um skeleton king has no skeleton king has not really much mana 30 mana is actually i don't know it could be a lot in some situations and um, yeah, cooldown is gonna be 25%, um, sorry, not percent, it's gonna be 25% seconds, and drain durations 7 seconds, which is gonna be the duration of 20% of the max HP, okay? When you use this, um, you have, by the way, cast range 550, you can just select an enemy hero and you will drain 20% of his uh, max HP for 7 seconds. But um, here is something interesting that I don't still don't, don't understand. I just have to test this spell and see how it works when this, um, this map comes, uh, you know, on the servers officially. 
um, 20% over 7 seconds, but we have a note. This doesn't affect max HP, uh, just temporarily drains, then returns it. So it's something like the target has to die during these 7 seconds, because after that um, he's going to return the 20% of HP and he's going to get healed again to the same. I don't really get this uh, spell. Yeah, I don't really understand completely this spell. But anyway, um, I have to test this and all that stuff. But it's going to be really interesting. It's really promising, actually. Next one is Larder. And we have Bash Damage Type from Magic to Physical. This is something very nice that I was expecting for a long time. It's very, very nice. And also, we have Sprint Cooldown decreased from 40 to 28 seconds. Very nice changes on Slarder, very nice. Sniper uh, Sharpnel AoE increased from 360 to 400. Actually, this is 40 um, AoE increased for the Sniper first spell. And yeah, it's gonna be even better now, the Sharpnel. Spirit Breaker Charge of Darkness will now um, also greater bash its target wow this is insane i thought i thought i was expecting um spirit breaker nerf guys um honestly because this hero was insane in the in dota one of course only in the last map and now they buff him even more i don't i don't understand this but anyway um instead of only affecting those it runs through it now uh, also affect the target as well the greater bash portion of charge of darkness will go through BKB since greater bash uh, goes through BKB. Wow. Storm Spirit. We have electric vortex cooldown decreased from 20 to 21, 20, 19, and 18 seconds. Well, this is nice. Just a slight buff to the second uh, spell of Storm Spirit. Now it's gonna be less cooldown on level 3 and 4 because on level 1 it will be actually more than before on level 2 is gonna be the same and we get 18 seconds cooldown on level 4 so very nice storm spirit players good tower and chieftain um, ancestral spirit a vision type from flying to ground okay vision type is changed and then we have a uh, natural order aura increased from this to this. This is actually a nice buff to Tower and Chieftain. Yeah, good. Okay, Terror Blade. Um, Conjure image illusions duration increased from 25 to 32 seconds. Very nice. Sec seven seconds more, guys, for our illusions, which is very good because we can accumulate now more illusions i think three we can get at this point two for sure maybe three i don't know i have to test this still and then sunder minimum hp exchange uh, decreased actually this is unfortunately a sad nerf to the uh, terror blades ultimate that will make it um harder now to hit uh, i mean to use so yeah Tidehunter uh, Ravage AoE rescaled from this to 1025 on each level. Always it's going to be 1025. It was like this, uh, 1025 on level 3 before, but on level 1 and 2 it was it was less. So Tidehunter is a very nice support hero. And now it's going to be even more amazing with this uh, new ultimate range. So very very nice the next one is tiny and we have toss cooldown decreased from 10 to 9 seconds uh one second buff to the toss cooldown very nice i thought 10 seconds was um really low actually and it was op but now it's even more in my opinion because it's nine seconds and you can now toss units to runes <laughs> this is something funny that can um, help you really much in some situations yeah very nice very nice trend protector uh, leech seed slow increased by four percent 
from 24 to 28 percent this is very nice guys and then we have the same spell which is the the healing you know the healing effect no longer ends when the target dies this is very cool because um yeah we can stay uh, near the target and still heal even if he dies so very nice very nice the next one is troll warlord and we have a slight nerf for this hero actually not slight it's a big nerf i should say to the ultimate uh battle trends cooldown increased by 30 seconds okay and then we have battle trends duration decreased from 10 to 7 seconds wow this is this is a nerf for the troll warlord um, ultimate um, i didn't expect this one i hear other people complaining and crying about trollers um, ulti but okay now you have the nerf um nice nice it's actually yeah tusker snowball cooldown decreased from 24 to 21 seconds okay this is a good buff three seconds less cooldown on the snowball undying soul rip which is the second spell guys cast range increased from 600 to 750 i mean 650 this is 100 um, range increased which is very nice this is i think this is everything undying needed now undying could be a very good hero yeah yeah the next one is ursa warrior uh, fury swipes duration increased from 6 to 15 um, seconds this is something insane in my opinion you guys will see how amazing this is gonna be the next one is vengeful spirit and we have strength increased from 16 plus 2.3 to 18 plus 2.6 this is something very nice because now vengeful spirit will be even better um you know roaming supporter hero and uh, we'll have a little bit more HP that will make her even more tanky, you know, a little bit more tanky. And then we have Nether Swap cast range rescaled to um, 50 more for level 1. And then we have 75 more for level 2. And we have the same um, for the level 3 ultimate. But still, 50 range is very nice buff. I think Vengeful Spirit, I will... Play this hero more now and i will love it as a support very very nice changes very nice buffs venomancer poise poison uh sting duration increased from six seven eight nine to six eight ten twelve well very nice finally we have a little bit of uh, duration increased for the poison of venomancer nice great viper corrosive skin affects <clears throat> any damage source not just regular attacks well that's very nice guys uh, now even if you hit a viper with spells you will still get the debuff that will uh, damage you over time for a little bit so yep very nice on the viper and after that we have viper strike is no longer removed by dark pact or kraken shell so fuck you slark Fuck you, Tide Hunter. Okay, you cannot longer, you can no longer remove the Viper Strike. So very nice. The next one is Winter Weavern, and we have Intelligence Growth increased from 2.4 to 3.1. Well, that's nice. Now we will get on the Frost Dragon. We will get um, a little bit more mana and most important damage. You know, mana and damage from the Intelligence and also we have arctic burn no longer provides flying vision uh, unfortunately this is a um, nerf but anyway witch doctor death ward which is the ultimate guys cast range rescaled to 400 now it's gonna be on each level 400 um, that's gonna be 100 more than before on level one and five i mean 50 sorry more um on level two you know more than before and also we have maledict cast range increased from 400 to 525 so that's gonna be it guys for the reveal on the new map um 6.78 
Um, I will do a gameplay about the new heroes for sure, don't worry about that. And I will also do another video uh, showing you guys the changes and my commentary about the uh, changes on the items because I was reading them and some of them are very interesting as you can see from here some of them actually and we have much more so expect more videos like this in the future in the next days actually and uh, yeah so that's gonna be it for this video guys um, I want to say thank you for watching please like the video if you enjoy it and uh, remember guys that I actually want to say please uh, in the comments below commentate about your thoughts about the you know the changes in this map what do you think um, share it with everyone we will be um, nice for me to to read all your comments what do you think about the new um, you know the the changes if you agree with something or if you don't agree with something you know and yeah uh, share this video with your friends and uh, Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Dota gameplays from me. Uh, you can also like on Facebook to get updates about new videos and more cool stuff. Okay guys, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Have fun playing Dota.